You know, I caught a teenager. My son, I was driving my son in the back of the car, and um, I don't let him drive, he's four. And I got... <laughs> he's in the back of the car, and I'm at some traffic lights, and I caught a teenager giving the finger to my son to teach him how to do it. <laughs> Isn't that just plain evil? He's just giving the... Give, at what point, by the way, would you have to actually pixelate my finger if I... At what point do you, does it... There? When is it criminal? See, that's just a matter. I'm just gesturing. Yeah, it is! I, uh... God. God, I love America. They give you a round of applause for giving them the finger. This is just <laughs> the best damn country in the world, isn't it? I, now, when people swear, they say, pardon my French. You know, that's, that's not French. <laughs> it's not French. Now, uh, you know, there's, the, uh, what, there's some parts of the world that clicking sound is the, is the language. You know that? <laughs> oh, come on! I got beeped for swearing in tick language? <laughs> you. <laughs> swearing. <laughs> swearing is... Uh... Swearing, uh, swearing is really a matter of, of, of geography, you know, it's one man's swear words, another man's poetry. Especially, especially if you, if you live in Nantucket. Uh, <laughs> what if... What? Wouldn't it be awful if you actually were a young man from Nantucket? <laughs> uh, and you had something with a bucket. What would that... You take a, take a word like, but swearing is, is geography, you take a word like fanny, right? Now, fanny, it, it's, it's not a big deal in America. Fanny, it's not, it's not a, it's, not, it's a cheeky little word, fanny. In Scotland, in Scotland, the word fanny is one of the rudest words you can say. Uh, it's very, very, very rude. I, I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed saying it now, fanny. <laughs> it's very rude. Uh, if you don't know what a fanny is, it's, um, men, men don't have them. By definition, if you're a man, you don't have a fanny. Uh, well, uh, I guess with, you know, plastic, you know. Well, look, it's, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's downstairs equipment, fanny. So when I came to America and I heard people saying, you know, they pat each other in the fanny, and, and they wear fanny packs. Uh, this, this place is out of control. These Americans, it's just a mass orgy, I thought. <laughs> you know, the, the <laughs> you know the, there used to be a, a, a big TV chef in Britain, a big, uh, you know, the kind of Martha Stewart -y type person in, in Britain in the 70s, and her name was uh, Fanny Craddock. <laughs> uh, I remember one night on the news, the, the anchor man closed the news segment. She'd done a little thing, you know, a cookery segment, and then he was closing the news and he said, Good night, and I hope all your donuts turn out like Fanny's. And. <laughs> To me, to me and my friends, this, this was the funniest thing that we'd ever heard. I think I laughed for about a year. I still think it's funny. Have you ever sat and thought about what your favourite swear word is? I mean, there's, there's so many, it's impossible. It's like picking a favourite child. You just shouldn't do it. It's fun to go through the list, though. And you don't, you don't actually have to swear to swear. You can use a part of the word. You know, and, and people get the idea, because, uh, like, if you bang your, you know, if you slam your hand in a door or something, you can go, MOTHER <laughs> And people know... <laughs> they know you're not going to say, MOTHER Teresa. They know you're not going to say that. <laughs> you're not going to say, MOTHER! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, to swear, you, to cover up your swearing, you can just say the end of a word. Say the letter Q. You know, Q. <laughs> Q. Q too. <laughs> or you can use the word cough. Cough. <laughs> Q. <laughs> cough. <laughs> anyway, true story. All right, all right, everybody. We have got a great show for you tonight. We'll be right back.